Hey guys, what's up? Today we are going to be talking about some of the monuments of India. So let's get started. So the first monument we are going to talk about is the Red Fort. The Red Fort has a lot more history than most of us know with a little secret. See, the Red Fort in the early days was actually white but maintenance purposes had to, you know, change it to red. This fort was so huge that it took them 10 years to build. The world's most expensive diamond was used in its furniture. Next up, we have the Ajanta Caves. The Ajanta Caves is actually a collection of 30 caves, <coughs> each dedicated to the life of the Buddha. On the 20th of April 1819, John Smith, the Madras Presidency Officer, accidentally discovered the entrance to cave number 10 deep within the tangled undergrowth while hunting a tiger, which led to the discovery of the showpiece Ajanta Caves. The caves were constructed during the Gupta period, 5th and 6th century AD. <coughs> Moving on, we have the churches and convents of Goa. The churches and convents in Goa, which used to be a capital of the Portuguese Indies, show how Christianity spread in Asia. One important church is called Bomb Jesus, and it has a tomb of a famous saint named San Francis Xavier. This building is an example of how Christianity was introduced and established in Asia during the colonial period. Its construction was started in 1594 and was consecrated in 1605 by Archbishop Dom Father Alexio de Menezes. Next, we are going to talk about the Dholavira. Dholavira site is the most prominent archaeological site associated with the Indus Valley Civilization. Also known as the Kota Timba, the site contains ruins of an ancient Indus Valley Civilization, such as Harappan City. <coughs> Dholavira's location is on the Tropic of Cancer. Last but not least, we have the Monuments of Hampi. Hampi is famous for its ruins which belong to the Vijayanagar Empire. The Hampi site has over 600 surviving ruins, mostly Hindu, spread over a wide area. This antiquate temple is famous for its marvelous architecture. It is also known for another extraordinary architectural marvel, 56 melodic columns or the musical pillars. These pillars create melodic sounds when tapped delicately. The most intriguing thing is that the columns are made through stone. So that's it folks. I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you around later. Bye.